All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do your sink in the truck. First thing you're gonna need to do is make your sink basin. So, what I did, took a piece of quarter inch ply board and I cut me out this to fit in my bucket, okay? So, you got this here? I rounded the edges so it's nice and smooth so it slides in the bucket real nice and easy and it's not sharp on your fingers. Once you cut this, when you cut it, you need to give yourself like a quarter inch gap. When you trace your bucket line, give yourself a quarter inch gap to accommodate for the lip around the bucket. All right, and we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna drill our hole for our sink faucet, all right? And you're gonna use a one and a quarter inch hole saw bit, okay? You're also gonna drill a hole inside the bucket because you're gonna put a hose that goes through that bucket. This is all gonna be easy to disconnect when it's done. So it should look like this, okay? You got your sink faucet attached to your board. You've got a hole that the hose is going to go into. There's going to be a um, a union right here, okay? That's going to stay there, so you never have to disconnect any hoses. But basically, just attach your sink faucet. Like so, you're gonna have a hose that goes out of here, out of the bucket, and I'll show you the rest in a minute. For now, we need to go in the truck and find us a giant bowl and put it on here that we're gonna use for the bowl of the sink basin. When we do, We'll put the bowl, cut a hole in there for the bowl, and then you can cut a hole in the bottom of the bowl, and you can get a stopper to go in the bottom of the bowl. You, st you with me so far? So now you've got a bowl for the water to run into. When you want to drain the water, you can either lift the whole sink out, or you could just pull the stopper and let it run in the bucket and dump it. All right, so now that we've rounded out our edges, bevel them with a um, router. We're gonna sacrifice a bowl for our base. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? So now we have our sink basin that you can remove. Real easy. We'll put us a hole right here, right where the uh, circle is there. And we'll create us a little drain plug. And then we'll go hook up our parts. Wish me luck. All right, so you guys can see how this is done. So, got our sink, okay? Your hose, and we'll put a quick fitting on here so it's easier to disconnect later. But basically, you just pop your hose onto the faucet, okay? And you can get spring clamps if you want, so you can make sure it stays on. The other end of your hose goes to the outlet on your pump, like that, okay? And 
on your inlet you'll get a hose a garden hose with this pump on your inlet this will go into your water source which we're going to use a five gallon water jug later on we'll clean this up a little bit we'll put this in a box and we'll put the switch on the box and it won't look so messy inside your fuse box you have a hot and ground post in there okay you can connect this to your hot and ground post in your fuse box or if you want you could snip these off and throw you a cigarette lighter attachment on the uh, end of the wires here because this only pulls nine amps I want to say so because it only pulls nine amps you could plug this into one of your cigarette lighters so we're gonna hook this up and I'm gonna show you my sink all right so for right now we've got this hooked up to our hot post and our ground post okay it's just temporary you do not have to hardwire this and I'm not gonna hardwire it I'm gonna put a cigarette lighter on it but just to test this out okay we've got our wires going down to our pump so there's our pump all right and you've got your outlet hose you've got your inlet hose which goes to my five gallon water jug and we've got our sink and actually it would help if you put the knob on the sink so we're gonna put the knob on the sink and we're gonna test this out all right so we got our pump on pump is on okay let's test her out So now when you're done with your sink, okay, just disconnect your hose from the sink faucet, okay, and you can, uh, you can just put this right under your bed, all right, you can put your pump under your bed, and I put my inlet hose right behind my seat, so just three small parts, put them under your bed. Five minutes they're connected and you've got a sink hope you all enjoyed if you really want to do it I can tell you all the parts that you're gonna need I still have all of the screw numbers for everything that I purchased this is great this is great <laughs>